Hello everyone, my name is M4. This is a simple guide related to the extra boss fight in chapter 5 on the first soldier story, Mob Crawler. This is gonna be a guide just to explain the way I done it, my setups, and some boss mechanics that they are quite useful to know if you want to clear this content and have your 400 crystals. The reason for me to do this is because there is no much content related to the extra boss fights and some players are struggling especially if they got low power or if they are new to the to the game itself. Setup Lucia, Sephiroth and Matt. Lucia has Heart Magic DPS, Sephiroth has Lightning DPS and Matt as a healer. This boss is a DPS race so you only need a healer for the first stage and the reason for that is because the boss will start to cast some AoE damage. On the first stage, try not to go for defense stance because the damage is quite mild. It's not gonna kill you. You're just gonna need to be sustained. And if you keep the stance on attack, you're always gonna maximize the damage from the other two characters. And since it's a DPS race, that's gonna be the ideal way to fight this, this boss itself. Keep Matt on the heels, just keep an eye on them, do some debuffs if you have Lightning Breach, try to sustain your DPSs. The boss will then go on the cooldown phase. As soon as the cooldown phase starts, you're gonna realize that he's gonna get a debuff related to magic damage. And after that, you will gonna start the second phase. On the second phase itself, it's when you need Matt to shine. So you can carry on on the attack stance. You never go on defense stance on this boss, ideally. And the reason for Matt to be the highest HP on my team is because you will gonna start to cast Blazing Ray. And Blazing Ray normally um, targets the highest HP character of the team. So ideally you want your main DPS or highest DPS with the lowest HP on the team itself. And in my case it's going to be Sephiroth. You're going to see that he's going to throw some, some tear gas bombs. After that he will then start to cast Blazing Ray. Then he will kill with one single hit. Go on cooldown phase and start to repeat the same process again. As soon as the fight goes, you're gonna try to avoid to reach the stage where you're gonna need to go for a third Blazing Ray. After the second Blazing Ray and the cooldown phase finish, you will start to rotate and it will start to give you really hard hits and that will gonna wipe you because you only got one character. So try to, to be as fast as you can. And that's the end of the fight. That's quite easy, fast forward. Thank you for watching and I see you when I see you. Take care everyone. This is my first video by the way on YouTube so any feedback, any comments, feel free to leave it on the comment section below. Thank you.